Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Josh. I put out new DIY and interior design related videos every week. For this week, I don't have a big project, but I kind of just wanted to share my experience with baking soda paint. So I know this is not a new trend, but I'm still so in love with it. Um, I actually used it in a recent IKEA hack video when I made over an Ivar cabinet. So I'll put a card up here in case you haven't seen that, you can check that out. And I'm going to use both acrylic paint and regular paint, like for your walls. And I kind of just want to see what works best, what doesn't work so well, and share my experience. So let's get right into this video. So these are the things that I found around my house that I decided to paint. We have marble, glass, a little metal planter, some matte ceramic, and we have a glossy ceramic. So to get started with this, you really don't need many supplies. You just need some paint, some baking soda and a brush, and of course, something to paint. I've seen a lot of different recipes online of how to make baking soda paint. In my previous video, I used a ratio of 1 4th cup baking soda to one cup of paint. But with that, I was really painting a bigger piece and I did have a lot of paint to mix up. So for these smaller pieces, I went with a different ratio and I kind of just eyeballed it, but it's two parts paint to one part baking soda, which is what I see a lot of people on YouTube using as well. So I'm just gonna kind of run through this really quickly. I ended up doing two coats for each of these pieces. I did try acrylic paint and then regular household paint. And for one of them, I did a mixture of both just to see if I would see any big differences between the two. What I started to find was that a lot of the glossy surfaces didn't take the paint well with the first coat. So these ones definitely needed some more love and I had to go in with two or three coats for each of these. And for the matte surfaces, it really took the paint a lot better and easier. So for some items, you may only need one coat. I just thought this was such a fun and easy project. So I just wanted to share this video with you to really show you how easy this project is in case you've been thinking about doing it and haven't yet tried. This really takes no skill at all. There's no special way to brush. In the end, there really is no perfect way to mix your baking soda and paint. You can definitely experiment with using a little bit more or a little bit less, and I'm sure you're gonna get an amazing texture in the end. Another thing that I found was household paint, at least in my experience, went on a lot easier. I feel like with the acrylic paints, for whatever reason, I wasn't getting as much coverage with each stroke, and the texture seemed to be less obvious, at least with the first coat. I also thought this project was perfect because, at least for me, I didn't really need to buy anything. I just used whatever paint I had in my collection, any brushes I already owned, and random objects I found around my apartment. You could really see how each of these started to come together with the second coat. When I was waiting for these pieces to dry, I actually spotted an unused terracotta pot and there was this rusty red color that I really wanted to try out. So I just quickly went over this with baking soda paint as well. Let's do a little rewind and see what these guys looked like before and after. Thanks so much for watching this video. This was just a little something small and fun. I have a lot of projects planned, room makeovers planned, so don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss anything. And if you enjoyed this video, leave me a like and a comment. See you guys next time.